All right, well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to uh, the, the freshly remodeled uh, Mike Madonna Ice Arena. So I uh, just want to welcome everybody. My name is Bill Wild, the mayor of the city of Westland, and as uh, we cut the ribbon on uh, the, the latest uh, renovations here at the Mike Madonna Ice Arena, we want to recognize a couple dignitaries that are in the audience here to join us today. Uh, first of all, um, is our city council president Jim Godbout on behalf of the West End City Council? He's with us. Our, uh, also on behalf of the West End City Council is uh, Councilman Mike Lando and James Hart. Also, our Wayne County Commissioner uh, Glenn Anderson's with us, and the Chamber of Commerce CEO uh, Gretchen Heineke is with us as well. Is also we have. Uh, uh, members of our MSB board, that's the Municipal Service Bureau, which uh, manages uh, the ice rink in our golf course. Uh, they're represented today by their members, uh, Mac Mayfield, Mike Reddy, Steve Smith, and Delano Hornbuckle. And our ice arena manager, Joe Burton, is here with us as well. And we also welcome back two very special guests, two longtime residents of the city of Westland and uh, uh, big patrons uh, here have helped us uh, throughout the years renovate the Mike Madonna Arena, and that's Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mike and Karen Madonna. Welcome and thank you for joining thank us you. today. <laughs> so today we celebrate the remodeling of uh, of the lobby area, and that's kind of uh, brings. Uh, we're, we're probably never going to be done with renovations here because it's an older building and uh, we're always going to try to improve the amenities for the users. But uh, this really brings the end to our major work here at the arena. Today we're going to be celebrating uh, this, this new uh, lobby area here and uh, new improved bathrooms and, and some other stuff here that make uh, the experience here at the Mike Madonna Oyster a lot more comfortable for, for people using it. Uh, but actually, um, the upgrades actually started back in 2010. And we've been very fortunate in Westland to combine federal money, state of Michigan money, county money, uh, local money through uh, the Westland uh, City Council's helped us out. And we've continued to raise money through uh, our annual uh, Detroit Red Wing alumni charity game here that we'll be celebrating here uh, in March. And we've had uh, we're fortunate to have donations from the Mike, Mike Madonna Foundation as well. So it takes a lot of different sources to renovate buildings uh, like this. So we appreciate everybody. Uh, so some of the things that we've done for those that, that don't know all the work that we've done here. Uh, back in 2010, uh, we used federal money to uh, put in new compressors, a dehumidifier and a cooling tower, which helped us uh, lower our efficiency, our energy efficiency cost and give us a better ice surface. Uh, back in 2015, we installed new LED lightings, LED lighting over the ice arena surface. We were the first ice arena around that had that type of LED lights. Uh, we remodeled the Breakaway Cafe, which is part of the lobby area here. We've added free Wi-Fi for users of the arena. We put new heating units above the spectator area to uh, make it more comfortable for parents watching their, their children participate. And a new rubber matting uh, all around the arena, uh, which was, uh, believe it or not, that's a pretty pricey project there, but uh, it was state of the art at the time and, and it's holding up well. Uh, in 2016, we probably made our biggest splash here. That's something that really changed the arena moving forward. And that was the addition of four pro style locker rooms and uh, shower rooms and locker rooms, bathrooms. Uh, we also added a community room. Now the uh, associations for both hockey and figure skating now have a place where they can have their meetings and also uh, the community can enjoy these rooms as they uh, enjoy this building for, for special events. Uh, we also added purified water fountains for, uh, for the users. Uh, we repurposed the original locker rooms into uh, special rooms for the coaches and referees and also for a place now for our female skaters to uh, have uh, their own privacy as well. Uh, we also added a a storage facility and we brought in an extra Zamboni. Uh, when you came in here today, hopefully you saw our brand new Zamboni. That's another thing we're celebrating here today. And I think uh, North Brothers Ford has it outfitted as the new 2020 Explorer. So uh, we, we appreciate that. Uh, in 2017, we painted the interior and exterior of the building and we did some work on the roof. 
2019 uh, is, the, is the project that we just finished up here today. That was a total remake of the lobby, uh, opening up uh, the, the area here so now that users can can watch their, their games uh, from, from the warmth of uh, the lobby area here. And it just really opened up, just gave it a whole new look and feel. Uh, you can see we have uh, new flooring in here. This is the same stuff you'll see if you go down to Little Caesars Arena. We borrowed the Red Wings colors because everybody knows that Mike finished out his career with the Detroit Red Wings, right? So we had to have a little bit of Red Wings in here uh, in the Mike Madonna Arena too. Um, all in all, this was a $220,000 project. Uh, we were able to uh, fund that. About 127,000 came from the capital improvement fund and uh, money that was utilized from our charity hockey games. And we also received a grant from uh, Wayne County Parks uh, through Commissioner Glenn Anderson, who's going to say a few words in a few minutes of $42,000. And this basically put the city's investment uh, through federal, state, county, local money at $1.75 million since 2010. So uh, it's very exciting. It's, it's nice to see uh, this arena still being so viable. I, I tell everybody it's the, it's the nicest arena around. Other arenas may have two sheets of ice, but I think it's the nicest local one sheet of ice arena anywhere in the state of Michigan. So with that, we have uh, a few people we're going to let say a few words. Uh, the first person that we're going to ask to step forward is Joe Vig. Uh, Joe Vig is uh, the owner of JS Vig Construction. He was the project manager on today's project that we're putting a ribbon for, but also for several of those other projects that we talked about. With that, I'll turn it over to Joe Vig. Thank you. Thanks. Good afternoon. It's, it's an exciting day here. I, my name is Joe Vig with JS Vig Construction, and I'd like to start by thanking uh, Mayor Wild. I'd like to thank the, the city of Westland and the Madano family for uh, for this exciting, very exciting project. Uh, our company has been involved with this arena for going on 10 years. We've been involved in, in these, these past projects working with the city of Westland as well as working with the federal government on the uh, energy efficiency upgrades. And also, we have a long history dating back to my dad who started our company building the police station and a number of other projects in the community uh, dating back to the mid 1970s. So for me, this is a particularly exciting day. Add to that the fact that I have played, I've had the privilege of playing in the uh, fundraiser uh, against the Red Wings alumni team for uh, going on 10 years now in our 10th year and being able to be a sponsor for that event. So with that, on behalf of our company, JS Vig, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity. I'd like to thank the Madano family. Uh, this name is absolutely the gold standard in hockey. Uh, and uh, turn it over to the next speaker. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Well, Joe played in that charity hockey game every year. He writes a, a big donation check. So unless you're a guy like Joe Burton that scores a bunch of goals, that's how you get invited back every year, right, Joe? <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay, next up is uh, is going to be Council President Jim Godbout to say a few words on behalf of uh, the, the City Council. And I have to tell you is that going back to 2010, once we made a commitment with the City to uh, start reinvesting in this ice arena, um, there's been no bigger proponent of, of this arena than City Council President Jim Godbout. And I can say that goes on behalf of all the city council. Every project that we've done, even up to uh, this project and buying that new Zamboni, is that the city council uh, under Council President Godbout's leadership has been on board with every one of these projects. And I know they're just as proud of the, of the building as, as we are. So let's welcome Council President Jim Godbout. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, it's been a, a long process getting this arena to the, the state that it's in. Uh, Joe, your company's done a great job in, in the remodel of, of the lobby area as well as all the other work that you've done over the years at this, this facility. Uh, to the Madonos, uh, thank you very much. You've been, always been big supporters and, and there to help out when we need you. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to have you uh, in our community. And on behalf of all the city council, this is a great transformation uh, to this area. I was just uh, commenting to Commissioner Anderson, 
30 years ago uh, when our when our kids were uh, at the arena it looked nothing like this absolutely uh, it was dark it was uh, smelly it, it was like an old arena and uh, you come in here now it's all opened up to the public uh, you can sit in here and, and see outside so instead of at 6 a.m. freezing out in the stands uh, the parents can sit in here where it's uh, warm and, uh, and have full view of the ice so it's a, a great addition great modernization of this facility and uh, makes it viable for years to come so on behalf of everybody on the City Council uh, thanks for everybody's involvement in making this a successful project So one thing you've probably noticed at the arena is that not only have we been reinvesting in the arena, but we've also been in reinvesting in J.C. Park, which surrounds the arena. And our next speaker, Glenn Anderson, our Wayne County Commissioner, uh, through the Wayne County Parks and Wayne County Parks Millage, he's been able to bring back uh, a lot of serious money over the last couple of years, which not only helped us finish off this project here today, but over the last couple of years, we've been able to totally transform uh, J.C. Park with all new baseball diamonds. Uh, we've done a lot of work there in the walking path. Um, and so we continue to, uh, we appreciate Commissioner Anderson for, for keeping those uh, county commission, you know, that, that's a countywide millage that he's making sure that a portion of that comes back to his district every year. So with that, let's invite up Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, it's, it really is, a, as Joe said a few minutes ago, it really is an exciting day on Westland. Uh, this arena, many of you probably know this already, but I'm sure there's some here that didn't know that this was an outdoor arena at one time. Uh, there was no, nothing and no warm place to sit and, and certainly not a lobby that you could look through as, as we are looking at today, look through the glass and see the, see the ice surface and see the kids skating. Uh, the, uh, this arena is, I, I was thinking about this earlier today and thinking of how many tens of thousands and probably even hundreds of thousands of kids that have come through here over the 30 or 40 years that this has been in existence. And uh, a lot of times people look at recreation as something expendable that, you know, we don't, uh, that should be, leave that to private enterprise. And But it really pays us back in the long run because those kids are kept occupied. Uh, they're having fun. They're learning good skills. They're, some of them go on to do some great things like the Madonos family son. Uh, and uh, it's just uh, really an investment in the future. And I see this as an investment in the future. Uh, this, uh, as I said, gives kids something to focus their energy on and, uh, and stay out of trouble. Uh, it's a, 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 one of the things I was thinking too that it's a place that people from all over Michigan that at least southeast Michigan that have their kids in tournaments and when they visit this arena it's the face of Westland that people see that don't live around this area because this may be the only city facility that they actually set foot in and now it's something I think and with all the improvements that have taken place over the last 10 years, it's really something that we can all be proud of. And, uh, and I think as, uh, as Councilman Godbout said earlier, uh, when our kids skated here, my daughter was a figure skater uh, for about a 10, 12 year period. My son played hockey here. And, and just as an example of some of the people that have come into this arena over the years, I ran into uh, once uh, I was here and I, we ran I think we were here with our daughter for figure skating and uh, another parent brought her daughter here for figure skating and it happened to be our Wayne County prosecutor Kim Worthy and uh, so she still is in figure skating and uh, her younger daughter uh, and uh, so she was here uh, struck up a conversation with her back then uh, and one of the most notable people I think that I've seen here at the arena when our kids were coming in here I was sitting, standing about where um, uh, Steve Smith is standing right now, and one of the parents pointed across the lobby and said, 
see the guy with the hat and the coffee cup and munching a donut and he says you know who that is and I looked and you could really only see about this much of his eyes and uh, and then later I looked a little closer when the coffee cup came down and the donut came down and it was Gordy Howe himself he was here with his grandson and his grandson's team was playing my son's team and uh, and his uh, but it but it was just like I said that's why this is so important because it's the face of Westland for a lot of people and it's something we can be proud of that they're coming in they're seeing here in this community so I'm glad uh, they the about that uh, the 40 plus thousand dollars that I was able to get from the parks millage uh, to contribute to the project uh, you know it represents I think since I've been there I totaled it up and it's probably somewhere almost a quarter of a million dollars over the number of years that I've been with Wayne County and uh, I had to fight for that a few years ago because the new county executive came in he had other plans for the money he wanted to direct the money into different areas and uh, and we fought him and uh, we basically wrote the language for the renewal and it had it built in it was never it was a gentleman's agreement before we had it in writing now in that millage uh, and it'll be coming up again, I believe, next year. So I hope people will support that also uh, because we want to see money coming back to some of the local communities too to make sure it's spread around for the people that are contributing to it. So anyway, I look forward to seeing what the future holds for additional improvements to, to recreation in Westland. The mayor and the council have done a great job. Mayor Wild has been it made it a priority and the council has been very supportive and I just wanna say thanks because it's an investment, like I said, in our future too. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, through those funds, we've, we've really come a long way here at JC Park, but also a lot of those funds that you've been able to bring back has, has allowed us to renovate Voss Park as well on Palmer and, and Henry Ruff, so thank you. Um, the next person we're going to ask to step forward, and, and those of you that know him, you know he's not a real big talker, but we're going to ask uh, the Ice Arena manager, Jill Burton, and uh, our MVP of our Wild Wings team every year to step forward and say a few words on behalf of the staff here at the Mike Madonna Ice Arena. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm going to have my... Uh, Hockey Association, my figure skating, come up after me and speak about their programs. So I'm going to mention some things that they're not, getting, they're not going to talk about. We do have a, uh, the Western Wayne Adult Hockey League that's been here for over 20 years. And I believe with the new improvements that we did with the locker rooms and the ice conditions, they've committed for the next two years. And I'm hoping to keep those guys here for a long time. We've also had a lot of outside interest. I've been here for about 15 years, and it's been very difficult to get new outside people to come in here. And in the last couple of years, with all the improvements, it's been a lot easier. We've had uh, the, the Bell Tire girls, the 14U and the 12U, they came here last year and they skated about five hours a week. They're, this year they signed a contract for nine hours. We've also had a lot of uh, the AAA teams calling for extra ice. We've had teams from Alaska, California, Florida. So, I mean, it's kind of exciting to see all this, this quality hockey coming in here. And I'm looking forward to running ice to more of these teams. Uh, Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson kind of hit on some of the things I was going to talk about, but I feel that <coughs> sports are very important in the, in the kids' lives. Basically, my whole life was dedicated to sports, and it kind of paid off for me. I went paid for my school, and I had no plan for my job basically for 10 years after. But I've been here for the 15 years, and I see these kids come in. They're like five or six years old. They get on the ice. They're like baby deer on ice. They can't stand up. They're crying, they don't want to come back. And then you watch them grow over the years and you know, they keep keep coming back, keep getting better. And I, I can't believe it, these kids, some of these kids are 18 years old now, going on to college and they become super great adults. I think the sports instill a lot of different things in you, character, self-esteem, you know, dedication. Making friends is probably the biggest thing that I found when I played. And these kids are going to have these friends forever. I still talk to a lot of my college teammates. And I just think it's, I think sports is such a important thing to help these kids grow. And I really want to thank all our city council members, the Donald family, Mayor Wild, uh, 
Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson, thanks for your support and investment in these kids. And it's very gratifying as the arena managers to see these kids grow. And now with these improvements, we'll have a lot of more future kids that have the same opportunity. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Jill. Uh, Joe and his and his team here at uh, the arena they do an incredible job. And a lot of people don't know is that they we kind of use the same folks to manage the ice arena and the golf course. So they kind of flip back and forth. So uh, they do double duty, double duty, but they do a great job. Um, our next two speakers, we're going to ask them to step step forward. Is Greg Green? He's the secretary of the Westland Hockey Association, and Sean Taft, she's the vice president of the Westland Figure Skating Club. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Hi. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Uh, real quick, I am here representing the Wayne Westland Figure Skating Club, and I just have to say that this is awesome. This space is beautiful. The skaters are excited. We have really done some fun things over the last couple months since this has opened. We had a grand opening. Yesterday we had a spectacular skills seminar. Next month we're having Skatesgiving. We're working really closely with Tess, who's been fantastic. Joe, who puts up with my exuberance. Jeff in the back, who's always been very knowledgeable and helping us navigate things. But as everyone else has said, I was born and raised in Westland. J.C. Park was where I came to play WYAA softball. I came here to skate. I'm a skater now. A couple weeks ago, I was here with my dad skating on a Sunday. This rink holds a lot of memories for me. And what is so beautiful is that we recognize the value that this has in our community. What a privilege it is that all of us can bring our families here. And we can work and be a family and we can support each other, and we can learn and grow. So I just want to thank the mayor so very much for continuing to invest in this in the city council. Thank you so much, the Madonna family, because you are spreading joy. You are inspiring people. You are bringing passion. And it's just an honor that we get to be enjoying this space. I'd also like to, uh, my name is Greg Green. I'm the secretary of uh, the Hockey Association. I've been involved in this program for the better part of 15 years. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was a good project. This arena has come a long way since I first got here. Now my son hasn't skated here for eons, but the kids that are coming through, the four-year-olds, the five-year-olds, the kids in the Learn to Skate program, the kids in the Little Wings program, we have tons and they're all learning to skate and they're all going to stay in the program and like Joe said they're going to make friends forever and that's what they're going to do. Um, I would suggest anybody that has kids in that age group or anybody that's interested in hockey or figure skating or if they do figure skating it's harder figure skating is harder it is <laughs> but there's more equipment when you fall down Yes, <laughs> but please support our shows, come to our events, yep. come and just watch the kids, kids skate. It's just an investment again in our kids. Yep, and I'd like to thank the city council. I'd like to thank Mayor Wild who have been supporting the Hockey Association since I've been here. And uh, I'd just like to say uh, thanks. Thank you very much. Guys sound like that commercial, Bud, Bud Light, Bud, Bud Light with figure skating hockey. So, uh, just a couple of things that we're going to cut the ribbon is, is first of all, we talked a lot about hockey, we talked about figure skating, but another thing that we're going to have here in the very near future is um, we're going to be updating our rental skates here. And it may not sound like a big thing, but those of you that come out for, for open skating or you want to skate with your kids or learn to skate, we have these rental skates and the ones that we've had we've had for a long time we got our money's worth out of them but joe is going to be uh, going out to bid for uh, some new skates and we're going to pay for those out of the proceeds from last year's uh, red wing charity game and our 2020 red wing alumni charity game is now booked it's going to be friday Mar friday march 13th 2020 right back here at the mike madonna ice arena so we'll have tickets on sale soon 
um, before Mr. and Mrs. Madonna leave, um, I was talking to them to see if they had any more good Mike Madonna memorabilia laying around the garage or the house. Um, this area where they're sitting over here to my right uh, is, is an area that we're going to work on in the future to, uh, to build a new, uh, we're going to do a pro style, kind of like they have in the Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, a, a nice spot that we can showcase uh, some of uh, Mike Madonna's memorabilia. If you remember, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Madonna uh, donate a lot of memorabilia to be on display here at the arena, and we've, we've, since we've changed the lobby, we have to uh, display it a little bit different. And believe it or not, when he made the Hockey Hall of Fame, she gave his first puck to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so his first goal, we used to have it here, but now you got to go all the way to Toronto if you want to see it. So, But we appreciate that. So we're going to be uh, working in the future to uh, work on a display here to display some of uh, Mike's equipment here. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to recognize one more person because he does so much at the ice arena to save us money, and that's our Westland's new facilities director, Vic Barra. Uh, Vic, he, he came to us from Ford Motor Company, and he ran uh, compressors, HVAC systems, every mechanical system you can think of it at Ford's uh, plants. Now we have his expertise here, and when we got him inside the arena here, there's so much mechanical behind the scenes here, these new compressors we talked about, and ammonia things that are underneath the ice, and all kinds of different things. Vic came in and one of the things he did is he put a, a new uh, preventative maintenance program in place. So we're gonna maintain these investments that, that we've made here and make sure that they, they keep running. And uh, usually the city has to hire somebody to kind of oversee the, the project folks to make sure that, that everything is done proper. We saved a little bit of money because we had Vic Barra <laughs> oversee the contract. So I'm sure he's, GS Vig is gonna be glad to see uh, Vic's not on your cell phone anymore when this is over. So, but we appreciate you guys working together. Vic, thank you for all you do here to work with the arena to, to keep it going. All right, with that, we have a ribbon to cut. We're going to step forward. We're going to move this microphone out, stretch a ribbon across, and uh, we're going to cut the, rib the ribbon and officially open the Mike Madonna Weiss Arena up for uh, hockey and figure skating and public use for 2019. Thanks for being here today. All right, let's count them down. Three, Three two, two, one. Yeah.